Hello, my name is Shadley and welcome back for another episode of Humankind. In previous episode we got our first ship and we did find a new bit of land here, which I'm not entirely sure how much that is going to be. That seems like a Z area over there and another Z area here, so we'll see. Although it might not be just Z. Although actually, is there... no, I think it is a Z province for the most part. Well, let's get to the next turn, shall we? So Aztecs reached the... Early modern era. Hold! Oh wow! Aztecs were over. Okay. Close to defeat. Was about in the war against the Huns is 24. Trade route blocked. Okay, that's not good. Mongols now feel differently about me. We got the influence star there, so we got a total of... Oh, yeah, we got 5 out of the 7 needed. Let's have a look at the culture. So there's someone already... Oh yeah, it's the brown one. Okay. But no one else yet. Hmm. And we are going to be getting another civic soon, aren't we? Or at least we got a lot in there. We could get the slaving or slavery. Well, we don't actually have the stuff for that, so no, we can't do it. So we got this. Spike is almost doing or done with the food market. We could build it up already. Let's actually have a look. How much is that going to be extra gold? A little bit. Not quite as much as I hope it would be, but it's still a decent amount. We could... Oh, actually, we didn't... Well, if we build the fishmonger, or maybe the levy administrator, or artificial reservoir... I mean, we don't need more food in here. Definitely don't need more food. Okay, so, um, how about... We get the barracks here now. Maker's quarters is... Well, it's not far off from being completed. We'll probably wait for one more turn before putting more stuff in there, and archers, and stuff. Okay, so we got... Ooh, actually. No, we can't build anything right now with the money, but we've still got the ship over here. I am gonna go for that discovery. It's a wreck. 70 signs. Oh, wow. And 80 influence. That's a lot, actually. Just gonna get in there. To make sure that we don't risk getting the attrition. I mean, right now we wouldn't be taking attrition even if we hadn't went down this way. Or towards that way, but... So that is just one island there. I don't know if that's really worthwhile for a city there, because there's no rivers or anything like that. But the food production would be quite dependent on harbours and such. I mean, the makers, all the farmers quarters might help a little bit, but yeah, that's not really that useful location yet. I don't think it's going to get the archer in there. We're building it up there, aren't we, here? I might move this army... ...down here. Get in a position where we can start attacking into the Creek Heartlands. If we can take their capital away, then that would be quite massive. Oh, and we can actually have another unit in this army now, because we've got the tech. Culture Soil Trojan. Maya have reached the medieval era with Umayyads. Creeks now feel different about you. Um, what are you offering? Alliance. I, I will accept that. You are as just as Treaties. Let's make Shared logistics. Oh. What do you say to sure. this appealing proposal? Your proposal makes good sense. How did you change? Creeks feel differently, Hans feel differently. And Creven's. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, that just tells me that you are alive. Um, do you. You are a sight for sore eyes, my friend. How yeah, militarist. Faction there, so that might have an impact. Right, so you can get there. I suppose I could assign the archer into that army. So it's a full army at least. We can't attack yet, but at least we'll have that like... We know that we can get fairly far in here. There's... Oh, they got the... Oh, that's administrative center. Uh, never mind. There's another administrative center there. So we've got the fleet over here. Let's have a look at what we can find on this side. It might well be that it doesn't really link up to anything. And there's just a lot of ocean down here. So I think what I'm going to do is we're going to skip a turn. 
go as far as we can see over here, and then if they, we don't find anything to turn back before we start taking attrition, because the early ships can't take a lot of attrition, let's put it that way, on the open water. So Fishmonger is going to be completed in Unsung next turn, so we could definitely build something else in there as well. Um, we have no followers of our religion. Okay, well that's bad. Recess quarters. I mean, to be fair, we're not really focusing on the religion too much, are we? Uh, we could get a forge. Well, we still have the copper from the Mongolians, so that might be all right. We could get the artificial reservoir for extra food, but I, we've got two extra slots there for population. Hmm. We did get another unit down here somewhere, didn't we? Oh right, we recruited over there. Um, could always get some production in here, maybe that would be 10. That would be 25, yeah, that is really good. On the other hand, is that... I actually probably should focus more on science, shouldn't we? Be three science there, that would be eight science in here, way over there, or actually... I wonder... Oh, that would be 13 in there. That's not too bad. What about the luxury market? We can't place... Oh, right. It needs to be in different ter uh, territory. Um, One over there wouldn't be too bad. A bit less food. An extra merchant and a lot of money. I'll take it. So the library over here, we could buy it. That would increase the science output by 18. You know what? Yeah, we'll buy it. Oh, not quite enough to get that one done. Okay. Is there anything over here that would increase the amount of workers available? Not necessarily. Or and more... Like, well, not necessarily just workers, but anything that would allow us to have more population in the city without making new quarters. We could always just recruit more troops, I suppose. To make some more room. Maybe that is exactly what we'll do. Now, we are getting a barracks in Spike. Uh, let's make sure that we recruit over there. And then we can maybe get a... What do we have there? We've got three swordsmen and an archer. Let's go ahead and get another spearman there. And after that, we can get the cog over here and start exploring westwards. Aha. Uh -huh. Trophy unlock. Everybody's friend. Be allies of three nations or more simultaneously. Uh, resource sold. Horses was purchased by the Mongols. Not surprised there. Agrarian star. So we got six stars already. Um, how far are we on the list? We are still fifth. We're slowly catching up in the score at least. And Agrarian stars as well. That's relatively. Ooh, actually, we're going to get the scientist star. Basically now, <laughs> we're zero turns away. Um, can we queue up things? Was it shift click? I think it's probably shift click. Oh yeah, it's shift click. Right, so we're getting the theology and maybe war summons to get the better troops. And queue up those. And then you are an army here, we'll just station you there for the time being. And then I want us to have this fleet sail as far east as it can. I mean, since it does have pretty good movement speed, there is a relatively good chance that we can spot something in there. Although, it doesn't look like we are going to see anything. Oh, there is a new area over there. Do I risk it? I suppose I could. Now, Rollo is not building anything. We just got the Maker's Quarters completed there, didn't we? Um... Do I want to set up a garrison somewhere, or do I maybe want to increase the science or something else? Now, I don't have access to a lot of good units, so science might be a good idea then. Um, that would be five or five over there. It doesn't really look like there's a lot of good places in there. That would be, ooh, Maker's Quarters there for 25, oh wow. <laughs> We got um, pretty good production over here though, 190 already. 
Uh, we're going to get that barracks, actually. Allow us to get more troops quicker. And, oh, wow, it's almost done in one turn. Luxury market over here is going to take a bit of time still, but that's not too bad of a situation. And then the archer over there and somebody. We could, um, we could get the forge. The production over there is a bit low still. So yeah, we'll put the forge in. Then Spike is going to get the spearman, and we can put in something else there as well. We'll get more faith, but I don't think we really need to, like, I'll, we've not been focusing on the religion, so at this stage it's kind of pointless, I think, to try to get the foothold again. And all advance, so we could get more food, but we don't have room for population. I could get the stone walls, actually. But no, I was waiting for, oh wait, yeah, I was waiting for the cog, so if I just save up the points for next turn... Hans have reached classical era kept the traditions. You have unlocked oh. seafaring. Ah, to safely travel the dangerous, hungry oceans. Right, so we got the theology underway, and it's got a, almost a quarter already. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, data accomplished. Discover seafaring mastery. So extra fame from that. We got the scientist star. So we could go into the next era already. Uh, Hans got a population. Then, yeah, Hans kept their traditions. Resources sold to Hans. Um, English forgave grievance, English forgave differently. Let's have a look at the nation. So, you are po protective against us. Okay. I mean, yeah, we've got pretty good relations with you. What about. You're appeasing. We're triggering a lot of their grievances, I suppose, with the different religion and all that. And then, Greeks. Are jealous. Are I got pretty good war support gun. against them. Who are at war already? And what about the um, Mongolians? What do I owe this pleasure? They're bound. I mean, yeah, we basically got as common enemies, so that helped a long way. Now let's go ahead and get the cog. It's going to be completed almost in one turn, so we should probably queue up something already after that. We're going to get the wall upgrade just so that we can protect over there a little bit easier. And let's have a look. Roma's going to get the barracks done really soon. So let's queue up the... Could get the stone walls in here. That would give us a massive area with stone walls in. That wouldn't be bad. You could get the levy administration of the main plaza. Plus three gold there. Is there anything else? There's the forge which would increase the production. Not that we are really low on production, to be fair. You know what? I'm going to make some room, build the barracks immediately with some population there. So that we can afford growing a bit more again. Then on some, we could... Hmm, eight pops? I don't want to use that many. I might use a little bit next turn. To get the things going. Or running a bit faster. So the luxury market is done soon, then I might want to get the... Oh, wait, is, oh no, 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 that's not a science, but that is a science quarters there. If we get another one over there, that would be pretty decent. At the same time... Yeah, getting a marketplace over there wouldn't be that, that bad, would it? You would have a um, bit of a synergy with the harbour. So we'll place that there, and then that's, yeah, that's all connected to the city itself. Right, so we've got the unit over here. Oh, we can... No, we can't upgrade it in here. So if we just move back there... Um, not gonna go quite yet. Let's have a look at the... Like, is there something that we can get easily? We're currently number four on the list, just barely. Um, <laughs> kind of wanting to see the... Scores in here, to be fair. There we go. So getting five resources is a bit too hard for us. Getting the agrarian research or agrarian star is probably going to be too much. Getting the gold, we got a decent income, but it's probably not that high. We can't really get a lot of expansion done aesthetics, so no, I think we do want to go for the next era already. So let's have a look what would be the options. So we can't take um, Poland. Venetians would increase the. Okay, more money per number of uh, trade routes on city or outpost. Plus two money per naval trade rules. Okay, so that would be leaning further and further into the money. 
Well, then Edo Japanese plus one influence per population on a city or outpost. So that would allow to, to get a lot of influence. Also, it would allow unlock the samurai later on. And then there's the Spanish expansionists. Um, plus three combat strength on units starting their turn in non-allied territory. Oh, that would be quite nice. And there's the Ottomans. Heavy weapon industry costs would go down quite heavily. The Mughals would increase plus two percent industry per number of territories in your sphere of influence on capital. Okay, that might not be quite as good for us. Let's have a look. Then Ming has um, cost of action in civics. Ooh, that would be quite nice. Although there's not that many civics that we can take right now. Science on tile producing science, so that would allow us to get tech really quickly. And honestly, we got. Let's actually have a look. What else do we have? So that would be the science option. Food on exploration. Okay. And then we've got the Dutch. Money per population in all cities. Oh, wow. I mean, we got. That would be a, like extra 80 immediately. Then there's the a warehouse which would lower the stability. It comes as a market quarter. Oh. That would probably be really good in Ansang, wouldn't it? Plus 20 money from the Chasian Harbor. Hmm. That is tempting. And they would have an unique naval unit. On the other hand, I might want to go for these. Just to increase our research output. That would also be a unique naval unit. On the other hand, the Dutch would just... The money increase from this would be so massive that we can basically build whatever we want. You know what? Yeah, we're going to lean into the money. Geography, cartography, algebra, optics, astronomy. It's a time of discovery and exploration. But discoveries are not made solely by traders and adventurers. Those who explore with ships and caravans would go in circles without those who explore with pens and parchment. It seems the Dutch have both ships as well as pens and paper, not to mention their vast quantities of cheese. Indeed. Right. New era. Let's look at the Empire screen. So we need to earn a lot of money, which I think we can afford or we can get. A bit more science stars, that shouldn't be too big of an issue, a lot more population to be fair. But if we have a look at that income, that's almost 500 gold per turn, oh wow. That is a lot. So we've got the ship here, we can't upgrade it yet, we need to get it back home, or back to friendly territory at least. Uh, so we'll just sail it down here, I might be able to upgrade it in Han territory. If not, then we might need to move in somewhere else. But I do want to upgrade this ship as soon as possible. Did you get the cog yet? No, we're going to have to... Oh, right, you didn't actually move all your movement there yet. Let's get you down this way. Right, uh, there are wonders that I could claim. Machu Picchu would be on a mountain and it would increase a lot of the money. That would be more faith. Taj Mahal would be a lot of uh, money. And um, Topkapi Palace would be. Ooh. Plus 5% industry. I don't know. I, I don't really need more food right now. We've already got plenty. We're going to get the luxury market that. You know what? I'm... Oh, right. I started building a luxury market. Wait, no. I can cancel that one. I will put that one to be produced there because that's going to be a massive amount of gold. And I will build the luxury market. So we can start on that one already. It was 524 already. We are making a ton of cash. So I have a feeling that we will reach the make money goal quite easily this era. So this warehouse, well, it might be useful in here. It's not quite as good. And there, although. Plus two money per trader, so it would allow another trader slot. So yeah, it would be a little bit extra money. 
but not necessarily as good as one might hope. We're going to get the cog done. You know, I'm going to build that already so we can... Well, I can't start moving quite yet. Next turn, though. But we're going to start doing a bit more work on the stone walls there. And I wonder, do we have a place for this? We could replace that one. You know what? Yeah, I think that's fine. Yes, it will remove the market quarters, but that's honestly still going to be a lot more money. Then Rumble's going to get the forge done really soon. Um, would there be something that would... Wow, we're going to be at 24 pops very quickly. Um, I could get the customs farm. That's going to be a fair bit of extra money. Then that's underway. That's going to be done soon. Okay. Now let's get to the next turn. Huntsville differently without you. Oh wow, look at that. That is a massive city that they built here. Of course that is the only city, so they... I think it's still their only city. So they kind of had to. English Brigade of Grievance. Okay, let's have a look at this. Uh, you can move pretty far. You should be able to withstand some attrition. There is some coastal waters there, so we can kind of end the next turn somewhere on that coastal water. And it's, if there's no one in there, then we definitely want to set up the colonies in there. Then we've got this army in here. Oh wait, no, no, no. The navy over here is what I was looking for. That's two, four, six. Just trying to get as far as possible in here. Wait, it's... Oh, it's not 6. Or maybe it does have a bit more movement than it tells. Or maybe I just can't count. 1, 2... No, that would be 6. So it's actually 7. Right, well, we're going to get a research done soon-ish. And that's going to be done... Yeah, that's going to be done really soon, actually. Oh, uh, the forge is going to be done here. We might want to queue up something else. Um, we are starting to have a problem with the population there. We'd always increase the production there, or maybe get a... That would allow the... Tra another trader there. Yeah, I suppose we'll make it there. It's a bit less food, but that's fine. Just double checking those and then let's get to the next turn. Somebody gained a population, good. Kreven says, Resource Soldier Mongols. And you are offering a proposal Customs Union. The buyer is acquitted from any non essential fees when accessing this Empire's resource. The seller still gains the same amount of money. I'm um, sure. You. That seems like a good idea, because we can now then buy a lot of resources from you. Are we already buying this? No, but we could. Oh, we could also buy a marble, maybe. Let's have a look. Where do you have your marbles? What would be the closest marble, actually? Oh, and we could buy the iron here. And those we are buying... There would be marble there. There we go, so that is decent but extra things. Not entirely sure if it's going to be worthwhile, but we shall see. So this is... This very much look like a new continent. At least there is um, somewhat farmable land there. Okay, I want to test. Can I upgrade this unit in here? No. In that case, I'm just going to start sailing down here. Once you, I can get up to there. Next turn, we're going to get down here and just try to get over there, upgrade, and then we're going to move back over here and start exploring a bit more of the sea. Now, I think it's going to get the warehouse done this turn. So we should... Maybe get we could get the barracks in there to make the unit recruitment a bit cheaper. At the same time, we are over our pop limit there, or a bit overcrowded. We'd of course just recruit another cog, I suppose. We've got 
over 200 production, wow. We could increase the food production even further. I don't think it's really required. Now, uh, Maker's Quarters over there was another good option that we should do at some point. Well, since we're getting that, I suppose, let's get the Research Quarters there, or maybe there. And we'll place it there. Just to increase the available research in here. Plus, it does give another research or researcher slot. That should help. And let's just do a quick browse through the here. So we got the warehouse underway. Customs file is going to be completed very soon. We could actually just spend a bit of population to build that. And then we can maybe... There'd be more research. Well, those research places aren't that great. We get a lot of production down here. What about the... That would be okay farmer, but this is actually really good farmer's quarters. Of course, we don't necessarily need more food right now, let's be honest. We could get the warehouse over there. I'm not entirely sure if that's the best place or not, but... It would be better than nothing. Or we could get common's quarters, which increases the ability massively. Oh, you know what? What claim or wonders can we claim? There would be a lot of food. There would be the faith. I might be able to get my faith to be, again, kind of uh, more dominant. Hundred percent production towards any shared project, and then a bit of extra industry. I mean, that wouldn't be too bad. But I'm gonna go with much. No, I'm gonna go with the faith. Actually, I will claim that. That's a thousand points. And then I can start building the shared project already. The question is, of course, where do I want to build it? Um, oh, that would be a really good place for our maker's quarters down here somewhere as well. Man, like this area is really good for production by the looks of it. Um, let's build the wonders somewhere over here, far away from any other things. That's going to take a long while, but we can assign a lot of these things to be producing it soon enough. At least some other things. I suppose if we were to build that, that's going to allow the growth a little bit more. Oh, actually, it's having some problems with the food. Well, we're going to get another maker, all the farmers' quarters there. Then the thorn walls are going to be completed, and yeah, that started. Yeah, I should be alright. But we are unfortunately out of time this episode, so if you enjoyed this, please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Also, check out the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, bye bye.